Do you hear the screaming? I do. And if you listen closely, you will too. Someone will take credit for it, for what happened. I don't mean while we're here. Waiting room, maternity ward. That should be obvious. It takes two to mingle and I mingle pretty excessively. Listen, I know how it sounds. You think I'm stupid or you think I'm ignorant, but ignorance and stupidity come hand in hand, so I'm told. It's the same thing. I never really understood the bit about being too young to vote. Well, I mean, maybe before the age of 16 that does make sense. But once we turn 16, how come we can join the army, have sex, learn to drive a car and get married, yet we have no actual say in how our country runs? Look, I'm not saying I know everything about politics, but there's a reason why the majority of the Western world is run by old rich guys, and that's because if they gave people like me a say, they'd all become irrelevant. I didn't use rubbers. Well, I take credit for that. <laughs> but that's not what I'm talking about. Someone will take credit for Brexit. And who do you think this someone is? Who? Well, I'll give you a hint. It's not someone. It's everyone who voted. A 51.9% majority. Yes. 51.9% collective credit for the most important moment in our country's recent history. And I'll say this, dear David Cameron, who resigned today. Thank you. You will be missed. Not one person in my family ever finished school. I was the first one. That's only because I really fancied the Year 11 teacher. It was the Monday after Brexit Friday, you know, the day the country stood still. Tracy and Mandy were at it again, standing there between the printer and the fax machine, nattering away, blah, 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 Brexit this, Brexit that. It's not like it upsets me much. I pay my taxes and I eat my cornflakes. That's all there is to it. Ah! No more holding hands, waiting in lines, or in rooms. No more jobs being taken. No more rents being raised by those not from this country. I'm proud. I'm proud of what we can accomplish now that the EU is off our backs and that most immigrants are back in their rightful places. The United Kingdom will be a kingdom once more. Yeah, well, not in actuality. I do love our dear Queen, of course. But bloody hell! And everyone in the office calling in sick, leaving old me to cover everyone's blooming shift. Oh yeah, that's what I remember. I went for drinks with my sister after to get away from it all. But what did we find? The whole fucking bar drowning their sorrows, talking about it like it was the end of the fucking world. And you know what? These drowners were all bloody students. Students! Like their fucking life was over. Like, I've never been a student, but if I was, I wouldn't give a toss about something that's ultimately decided by a bunch of suits. What is wrong with them? So I say the dreaded words. Brexit and remain. Now, I have got a good group of friends. Loretto College is really multicultural and shit. But someone starts saying shit about immigration like they're reading from the UKIP hymn sheet and... Another's getting pissed off because the EU's taking control of our minds and our laws. And yeah, there were a few of us sat there who were saying that they're all idiots. But it, it just feels that like we, we can't even talk about it anymore because every time we do, it just ends up in people shouting at each other and storming off. A few of the girls at work found out my big secret. They asked me who I voted for. Seriously, who asks that? It's like asking how much you get paid. It's cheeky. It shouldn't be something you ask. So I told them straight, I didn't vote. Their faces. They started lecturing me about how important it is to vote and how people have died fighting for their right to vote. Yeah, fine, I'm sorry for that, but like I said, I'm ignorant. Well, that was the hazard to study in A-level politics though, right? What kind of person am I? What kind of 
citizen am I? My beliefs? I don't know anymore. All I know is that I don't belong to this celebration. I don't deserve it. I'm not one of the 51.9%. I can't take credit for Brexit. I didn't vote. And they turn to me and they say, Em, what's your opinion on Boris Johnson? I froze. Like a fish? Does he wear glasses? Has he got a moustache? Who the bloody fuck is Boris Johnson? Mind blank. I don't know if I ever knew who he was. They're all the same to me. Blurred faces in suits sitting on velvet chairs. Everybody's looking at me. I have never felt so ignorant. But I have to say something. Anything. So I did. I spoke. My thoughts on Boris Johnson. Nice suit, cute arse. I hate ignorance. You know, blame it on immigration, labour, EU and, and human rights, because that's easy, right? It can never be just our fault that this country's gone to shit. I'm 17. I'm interested in why the country runs the way it does and what's going on outside of it. I'm not saying that all young people should have the same attitude and passion that I do, but I'm saying that I should get to decide how I live the rest of my life. I impregnated an immigrant from Moldova. She stole my heart. I wouldn't have been able to look her in the eyes if I had voted. Would I be able to look my own child in the eyes if I'd voted? Three years ago, Brexit passed, and soon Brexit will conclude. I mean, can't you people just give us a break? Why can't you understand what we're going through, what I'm going through right now? I'm waiting in Bucharest for a flight to Moldova. The whole thing was a joke. You don't have to be an expert to work that out. The news, the papers, social media. You can't escape Brexit, even if you wanted to. But being so ignorant, I tried. It was over three years ago since the BJ moment. Boris Johnson, that is. I don't have a dirty mind. BJ for Boris Johnson. Boris fucking Johnson. Yeah, I, I did study politics at the time, but you got to look at all that shit that's happened since. Nightmare. I got myself a job down the youth centre. A mate of mine got me in, said they needed help. I was cleaning at first, but I didn't mind. I've been cleaning my dad's ears all my life and nobody paid me for that. I dropped out of my courses at college, started doing a BTEC in social work. Got my diploma and now I'm working with troubled kids. After a month of working there, Lewis asked if I could help organise activities for the kids and whatnot. Lewis was the owner, the city council type. One night after Karate Tuesdays, he asked me if I wanted to get a drink. I said, yeah, why not? It was going well until he asked me about it. Again, fucking Brexit. You can't even go for a drink anymore. I can't take credit for this. Credit implies that some good will come for it. What good has come out of the last three years? So I told him straight up, I don't know anything about Brexit. He told me that a lot of people didn't know. I wasn't alone. Lewis was a gent. He spent the rest of the night telling me about Brexit. And not in the stuffy BBC way. He simplified it. Digestible information. I couldn't believe it. This whole time, I had the ability to understand what it was all about. Like, we, we seem to have unelected Prime Minister after unelected Prime Minister. Millions showing up to protest. And no one with any power to make a change bats an eye. I used to have pride and faith in our country. Now I don't have any pride or faith in anything. 
I couldn't sleep that night. I couldn't get out of my head. I started reading blogs, articles, watching video after video. If it makes no sense to me, it'll make no sense to the kids who are about to come of voting age. So then what the fuck are we supposed to do? Then I did something I haven't done since school. I went to the library. I read books on the history of the EU, regulation laws and free trade. The whole law, it consumed me. There was no going back after that. I lost her. My Moldovan beauty. She went home after complications. She had to take matters into her own hands. My daughter. It's forbidden to speak about it when I go to mum and dad's for dinner because it'll just cause arguments. Dad can't admit he was wrong and it frustrates me. I expect when you have a child you hope for two things. One, that they vote, and two, that they vote the right way. And the right way being your way, of course, no one else's. And that's what I would have told her. So I'm glad I didn't vote, after all. I want to learn a language, help kids on the continent, but I would have no security anywhere else either. I have no freedom. That's what it feels like. Fuck it. I'll just ignore it till it happens, if it happens. Or like, when it happens. What does it matter? Where you come from? What does it matter? Where you're born? Everyone has to live. And I haven't lived in the last three years. And that's all I want to do now. That's all anyone wants to do. Isn't it? Sometimes I miss being ignorant. I almost wish I never knew. I would have voted if I could have voted. And now I just don't give a shit, because, like, what's the point? I have no control in myself or my country. So I'll help in my own way by keeping the kids from feeling like the world doesn't care about them. Because it does. I speak no vote. I see no vote. I hear no vote.